I'm in the healthcare field and I'm running a business. I have issues with the financial part, so I try not to pay attention to that part. So I pay attention to helping people and my business starts to grow and then I have to look at the finances to make sure everything's okay. And then it slows down and goes bad. Well, and that's I... sort of a cop out okay. in this sense. What you're saying is there are aspects I like more and so I can get lined up mm -hmm. and there are aspects that I like less and then I don't get lined up. And we say, you can get so lined up that none of the aspects will bother you. It's the same subject that we were just talking about. You can't insist that conditions change so that you can feel better about the conditions. You just got to find a way of feeling good and trusting that it will get better and better. And it will. And it is. Whatever you need will come to you. I have another question. I... Well, are you satisfied with that one? <laughs> In other words, those were just words, but we want to feel some movement within you about it. Here's the best way to put this, and it falls so perfectly on the heels of what we were just talking about. Does everything about your business have to be perfect in order for you to know that you made the right choice? No. <laughs> that was the most unconfident answer that we've ever... So we'll just keep asking until you answer with more conviction. Do you remember feeling strong impulse about this business? Yes. And do you remember that feeling of right track? In other words, do you remember how good you felt about it? Absolutely. And do you remember that that momentum carried you really happily quite far? Yes. So would you say that your envisioning was relatively resistant free. Mm -hmm. And while you were in that state, things were lining up, lining up, lining up, lining up, lining up. Yes. And didn't you find it quite remarkable how quickly things lined up? Yes. Then you began doing the business. And once you sort of dug into the details of it, was that when you first started noticing some of the aspects that you didn't like quite that much? Yes. And can you now feel that that's when you started sticking the stick in the wheel? In other words, that's when it started feeling not quite so much fun. Mm -hmm. So the key is once you're in business and once you are doing your business and once you are having your experiences, the key to living happily ever after within it is to try to recreate that optimistic feeling you had when it was all vibrational and not so physical. In other words, before it became conditional, it was easier to feel good about it, wasn't it? Yeah. So what we're saying to you, to all of you, you have the ability to, even though the conditions are now surrounding you, to be less conditional and more unconditional in your approach to it by reminding yourself of how it was before and what you know. I have the power to create this. I'm good at this. The universe is assisting me. I get really good intuition. When I follow my impulses, it always really pays off. I'm learning as I go. I'm growing my business. I'm figuring it out as I go. I know so much more than I knew when I first started it. I'm not starting over. There's lots of momentum that's going. I'm cleaning it up as I go. This was a really good decision that I made. I knew it when I made the decision to do it. I could feel how it was falling into place. I'm so glad that this is what I'm doing. I'm really good at this. I really like what I'm doing. Everything I need will come to assist me along the way. Feel how fresh and open that is. Mm -hmm. And all we did was focus unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Helpful? Yes. Now, give us an example of some condition that takes you to a sort of screeching halt in the other direction. What is it that you were talking about that you wanted to sort of work the bugs out of? Well, just going to look at the finances and paying overhead and, and all that. Give us an example. Is the building that you're in expensive? Yes. Is it fantastic? Yes, it is. Now, did you feel the difference in her? <laughs> <laughs> is it fantastic? Yes. Is it expensive? Yes. <laughs> so which of those thoughts serves you the best? One of them is more conditional than the other. So do you believe that you have a problem? No. <laughs> do you believe that there is any problem that you can't work out? No. Do you think you made a big mistake? No. Are you glad that you're where you are? Yes. Do you believe that it's getting better? In other words, can you feel what we're getting at? Yeah. We just want you to find a way to soothe yourself because in the soothing will come everything else that's necessary. In the facing reality, you're holding it off and you're not letting the help in. Okay. It's just that simple. Okay. So now what? <laughs> Now I just have to get an alignment. Well, you mostly got an alignment just now. So okay. is there any reason not to be in alignment? No. Is alignment 
Conditional or unconditional? Unconditional. It is, isn't it? So if a condition takes you out of alignment, what's the logical thing to do? Do your best to ignore the condition that's taking you out of alignment and focus upon what takes you into alignment. Now there are people who would say, oh, so you're telling her to put her head in the sand and not face reality and not worry about what she can't do. And we say, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're teaching you to tap into the resources of source. And the way you tap into the resources of source is through optimism, not pessimism, by trusting, not doubting, by patting yourself on the back, not criticizing yourself, by reaching for the feeling. So do you believe that you have the ability to feel outside of conditions? That's the question that we want to ask all of you. Can you feel outside of conditions or do conditions control your feelings? Because if conditions control your feelings, you're in deep doo-doo. If conditions control your feelings, then you've got to control conditions, which you can't in order to improve your feelings. Is that the way you want to go? Doesn't work. Say no, 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 that isn't what you want. So can you feel outside of conditions? Do you have the ability to feel unconditionally? Yes. So give us a sort of unconditional rampage here. You can do it. I love my business. I love I helping love people. I love my business. I chose so well. I'm good at what I do. I love my business because. Because I help people. I love my business because I help people. I love my business because. I feel good when I'm there when I'm I love my business because it causes me to focus and get in alignment with source energy because I can't help people unless I do so at the same time that I'm using the resources to help them I'm using the same resources to help myself it's a win-win situation for everybody around I love my business because it works for them I love my business because it works for me I love my business because it adds to the economy I love my business because it helps people I love my business because I'm good at it I love my business because it's in the beginning stages I love my business because I like watching it expand I love my business what else what else what else because I feel good but what else what else other than loving your business what else what else I love my building I love my beautiful building because because it's beautiful because it's useful now these are a little bit conditional can you give us some unconditional reasons that you love your building it feels good to be in it it feels like prosperity it gives confidence to those who come in it feels like well-being it feels like we're on top of our game it feels like we know what we're doing it feels like a safe haven it feels like a place for relief it feels like a place for soothing it feels just right I love this just right building that I have what else I love my landlord I love my landlord who's created this magnificent building mm -hmm. now are we stretching it too far <laughs> I was like oh, no are we getting too conditional or can you yeah. even make your landlord unconditional mm -hmm. I love the dream that someone had I love the idea that someone had I love knowing that someone had resources to create such a beautiful place I love the rendezvous that we made together I love the inspiration that the universe was using in order to guide me into this I can feel the just rightness of all of this I can feel the just rightness of all of this the unconditional just rightness of this right place right timeness you see what we're getting at mm -hmm. you're just restoring yourself to the confidence that is natural to you mm -hmm. and then from that oh all kinds of things begin to happen because that's the seed of attracting more of what you're wanting more clients higher payer clients faster paying clients more revenue moving more energy moving more ideas flowing to you more ideas for being able to repeat the revenue all kinds of things begin occurring to you when you get in that unconditional that safe not needing one thing to be different in order to feel powerful don't you feel powerful don't you feel sure of your decision? Yes. Aren't you glad that you're doing it? Yes. Aren't you eager for what's coming next? I am. Aren't you in love with life? Aren't you in love with your work? Aren't you in love with your clients? Aren't you in love with your landlord? Aren't you in love with your building? Don't you love economics? Don't you love how economics follows energy? Don't you love how money follows energy? Don't you love being able to point energy in any direction? Don't you love being able to identify? Don't you like the resourcefulness of the universe? Don't you like turning thoughts to money? Yes. 
<laughs> it's what that's what we're just doing there that's how it works that's how the things you need come but you got to do this work which makes them come you can't look where they're not and say come because I need you right come because I am you come because I match you come because this is who I am come because we are a vibrational match come because this is logical come because I'm steady here come because this is who I am come because success is who I am really good Thank you.